Grammy. Hi. Congratulations on winning the Miss England 2021. Thank you. We understand the judge's decision was unanimous for the first time in uh, Miss England's history. How did that make you feel? That was overwhelming. When I heard that behind stage, I was just like, this is, this is a first. You know, first of all, I was shocked by the fact that I'd won. But to hear that all the judges had decided that I was the one to win was quite emotional and overwhelming, but just such a beautiful Plus, thing. Plus, was how many contestants? There was 45 uh, on the day. 45, yes, I was. I was. And how did the other contestants react? Were they, were they, they nice to you afterwards? So nice, so happy. Yeah. Um, I heard from family and friends that were there on the night that they were so supportive when it came down to the final 10, 5, and then 3. So, you know, the girls have shown so much love and support um, on social media and also personally. So that must have been really nerve wracking when you, the first initial stages. So mm -hmm. it was down to 10, yep. and then 5, yep. and then number 1. Yes. That must have been brilliant. <laughs> And what made you decide to enter the competition in the first place? You hadn't entered before, had you? No, this is my first ever beauty pageant. And I think people are quite shocked when they first hear that, that it's the first time I've entered and I managed to win. Um, you know, I'd always been interested in beauty pageants since I was a young girl, but it wasn't anything that I was able to get into. But I had finished university last year. I finished my master's degree and I thought, the pandemic has just hit. I want to try something new. Let me do something that I've always wanted to get in touch with. And so I applied for the Miss England competition through All African Colours, which is a competition that is for minority ethnic women in the UK. And it wasn't very open, was it? No, it wasn't. I mean, it was quite, you know, we're in England, but it's very, it's a diverse nation, yeah. you know, so they wanted to represent um, women from minority ethnic backgrounds. And so it was just an easy transition and it just made sense for me to come Begins through. We could say that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and how will you use the title? You obviously do a lot for charity with the with the with the Miss England mm. brand, I suppose, and yeah. they, they they push you to do a lot of charity work and things like that. Are yeah. you getting involved with that already? Definitely, definitely. So I'm going to be going to the Miss World competition, and the Miss World ethos is beauty with a purpose, and yeah. so utilizing the platform that you have to do good and to fight for a social justice cause that you have. So I went through an abusive relationship and having gone through that, I know firsthand the experience that many women across the world and in this country are facing. And I thought it'd be so important for me to support charities like Women's Aid, One Woman at a Time, L for L, and just get the word out there to young women and young men about healthy relationships. Yeah, it's very important. Yeah. So we understand that you've, you've got a Kenyan background. Yes. How strong are your ties with Kenya? So, so, so strong. I mean, I was born in London, but lived in Kenya, you know, on and off for a few years as a child. I went to boarding school there. I learned Swahili. I learned Kimeru, which is my family's tribal language. Okay. And just, you know, getting in touch with my family's roots. I think it's a beautiful thing to be able to represent both British culture, so my nationality, but also where I'm ethnically and heritagely from. Yeah. yeah. And obviously October this month was Black History Month. What are your thoughts on celebrating Black History? Mm. I think as a Black British woman, and I think I need to make the difference, you know, there's so many components that make up me, you know, I'm a Black woman, I'm a woman, but I'm also British. And I think there's a lot that encompasses that. And this month, it's so important for us within this country to be able to, you know, celebrate where we're from, celebrate our heritage, because, you know, this is not the country we're from, but it's our home. And I think it's really important to have people from black background represented and celebrated. And so, you know, Black History Month is a time for me to, you know, look inwards, find out more about my culture and who I am as a black woman. Yeah, it's quite surprising, isn't it, that most kids didn't get taught any black history. Yeah. I, mean, I never did. Yeah. Um, and you've also been named an ambassador for cosmetics. What's the name of that company? Seatum. Seatum. Um you've been named as the ambassador for Seatum Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? And do you use their skincare range? Yes, I'm so so proud to be able to represent and be an ambassador for this incredible, incredible company. It's a all natural skincare company that really works to you know, take away pigmentation and work on an even skin tone. And so I had adult acne, which was unfortunate 
um, up until a few months ago, actually. And so I was left with a lot of scars and hyperpigmentation and it's difficult and it really sort of affects your self-esteem. But having used the C2M products, my skin, I mean, I get compliments every single day and how <laughs> the skin is glowing, it's, it's fresh. And I think it's important to really develop and um, love the natural skin that you have. Yeah, because you famously as well, you entered more or less with no makeup. Yes. Which was a first for, yes. for Miss England. Yeah. Um, and you, obviously it was the 70th Miss England contest. Is, oh no, you, you're representing England on the 70th, I think it's Miss World, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. On December the 16th yes. in Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. How are you preparing yourself for that challenge? Oh, it's <laughs> been about a month and a half um, since I won of just daily preparation from just understanding more about the pageant world, learning more about Miss World itself as an organisation, you know, catwalk sessions, presentation, charity work. I'm going into schools and talking about healthy relationships and really focusing on my project, but just enjoying myself too, because it's an amazing yeah, experience amazing. that I don't think, you know, many people will ever have. Right, um, one a year. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, I'm looking forward to going. I go in about a month's time yeah. and I look forward to meeting all the girls and just have this incredible experience. And do you get on with most of the girls? I mean, do you find some of them are a bit like hoppish? Because they're obviously, I mean, you, know, you can imagine that some... That's with life, you know. I think a lot of people have a perception about beauty pageants being quite catty, but yeah. having got into it, there is actually an underlying level of support. Girls right. are just understanding that we're yeah, here to... Yeah. Exactly. We're here to support a cause that we're passionate about. And um, I look forward to meeting the girls. I've been able to talk to some of them on social media. Yeah. So it should be amazing next month. And um, have you done anything to, you think, will, that will increase your chances of winning? Oh, little, little thing. Really I'll have to keep that a secret. <laughs> I'll keep that <laughs> to myself. Right. You'll find yeah. out when yeah. I get to Puerto Rico. <laughs> but how do our readers follow you on your journey? Obviously, Instagram and Google mm -hmm. as well. What, what are your details? Yeah, so they can follow my journey on the official Miss England page. I will be all over there. Uh, and my own Instagram page, which is at Rahema Muthamia. But mostly, there is the Mobstar page, and that's part of the Miss World Multimedia Round. You can follow my journey there, download it on the App Store, Android Store, and just watch me as I continue the journey into Miss World. So that's Mobstar app, and I'll be there. Brilliant. We will yeah. do. Wish you the best of luck. Thank you we so hope much. That you win. Thank you. Thank you for doing our photo shoot today. You look brilliant. Thank you. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank, Thank you, you so much.